Hey hello my friends, welcome back to another Minecraft video which is MC Server App in Hell. And today I want to show you a plugin called WorldGuard. And it's not specifically because it's a plugin that is fun to use or um, something that you know you would like to have on your server because others can enjoy it. But it's more of a admin plugin to make sure that everything is safe around you and creepers will not blow up stuff you don't want to blow up and stuff like that. So we will be going into the configurations and into setting up regions to make let's say a spawn area where people can not hit each other and they will be invincible, they can use signs, stuff like that. So let's get into it shall we. So before we start I need to tell you one more thing and that is you need another plugin which is world edit. So do slash s wand to get your wand and as you can tell I can now set regions. Alright, so as you can tell, I have set up a big area where I can work and show you a few things. Before I do that though, I want to say you one thing. If you're looking for the full going into the plugin of World Guard, skip this video and just go to someone else. Um, what I will be showing you today with World Guard is pretty much setting up a region and claiming a region and pretty much turning on and off PvP and building and all other convig files and I'll also go inside of the convig and show you a few of those things but let's just go and set up a region shall we so pretty much what you will need and I already told you that you need world edit and world edit is a plugin or a mod actually it's a mod in game for single player and a plugin uh, that allows you to set regions and you know set them to zero set them to a specific block or replacing the blocks so what I'll do I already set up a region this point down here and all the way at the top behind this point over here and pretty much what I'll do is this so region claim and then the name of what it, you want it to be I'm gonna call it PvP and pretty much you know you can s flag this area with specific things you want to be turned on and off so let's say in PvP I want creeper explosions to be off what I do is region flag name of the region which is PvP then creeper explosion and then deny let's say I want PvP to be on since it's a PvP arena I'm gonna do PvP allow if you want to know the full list it will be down in the description and if you do this in game anything at all just type something and you hit enter you'll see the full list of what you can add it so let's say uh, let's explain one of them heal delay you can change the heal delay in time inside of this region Another th fun thing I think is slash region flag notify enter you are now in a PvP zone. No region could be found with the name of notify enter. Okay, I forgot the PvP in front of it. There we go. And now oh, wait. So now once I join this region, it will tell me Maze PvP's entered notify region warzone PvP. So if I do F uh, region region list, it will list all the stuff I have. I have PvP, shop, spawn and warzone and I'm now in the warzone and PvP. So it pretty much tells me that I'm in that specific area. Another fun thing is region flag uh, PvP uh, greeting that's what I meant just a second ago PvP is now on so now if I move around it will tell me PvP is now on and pretty much like this you can greet your people once they enter a region so let's say they go to the spawn area it will tell them welcome back to spawn or whatever you'd like the last thing I will show you right now is a bit of the configuration and we will not do too much to the convig but it is something worth showing. 
Alright, so here we are in the convig of the World Guard's main configuration file. So in here, there's a ton of stuff you can set up. First of all, let's just go straight down over here, regions. Uh, before our next start, false, keep names that lack UUDs, true. This is something you shouldn't be looking at, it doesn't matter too much. SQL, you have to set up yourself if you want to have the uh, SQL, uh, my SQL server to, you know, write all the stuff to the my SQL, just do that. Just fill in your username and password and such and you're good to go. Okay. So, invisibility removes mobs. False. So, you have region flag um, invincibility or invincible and pretty much it will make the players invincible and what you can do with this is pretty much if you have that on remove mobs so pretty much sets mobs to spawning to false okay next one fake player build override so yeah that is something that doesn't matter too much either just keep it on true and you don't want to play with that explosion flag blocks entity damage it's pretty self-explanatory and pretty much there's all these stuff you have to change or can change. The one you have to keep it on 334, it's pretty much the one for world added. If you change world added convict and set it to whatever, like a stick or something, change this ID to the ID of a stick. Just saying. Uh, this one, the max claim volume, it really doesn't matter. You're not gonna claim this big of an area unless you are going to claim your full land where people can go you know like make a world border without the plugin world border just go ahead and raise this up if you want but I should keep it on this okay so claim only inside existing regions set it to false you can set it to true but pretty much it will um, allow the other regions to override the other regions if you know what I mean okay and this is really not that beautiful or fun to see. It's pretty much all kinds of stuff you can turn on and off. And yeah, just play with it a little bit and find it out yourself. It's not that hard to, you know, understand and such. So, one more thing, one question actually. If you want to see any other plugin, just let me know. Uh, if you want to see how to convict permissions or how to convict a plugin inside of permissions or whatsoever, let me know in the comments down below. And if I helped you out with this small show off, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Bye bye. Peace out.